Hi everyone, this is lesson three. Uh, it's all about use, just solving trig, but in radians this time. So it's exactly the same, but instead of 360, I've got 2 pi. Instead of 180, I've got pi. Instead of 90, I've got pi by 2. And instead of 270, I've got 3 pi by 2. But the graphs are exactly the same there. So the graphs look exactly the same. Alright, so that page just shows us exactly the same stuff. Okay, so it talks about solving trig functions. So it says, so same as before, but you're in radians. Um, right, so let's have a look at this question then. So it says, solve sine x is minus 0 0.6. So remember, first thing you do, always do inverse sine. So if I just bring up the calculator. I don't want it to do that. I think it's coming up. Um, so what we're doing then, so going to menu 1. I'm in radians, so that's quite nice. So shift, sign, minus 0 0.6. Gives me no, minus 0 0.6. Three five, so minus zero point six four four. Right then. So now, if I go into my graphing, so if I do menu and five, get rid of that. So remember, you're going to graph sine x, and you're going to solve it against minus zero point six. I'm in radians, so I should get something, but my, my axes are all over the show. Um, so if I just do F3, so X min needs to be zero. X max needs to be two pi. So two shift pi. My scale I'm gonna do is pi by four. Pi divide four. And my y min, so it's sine, so you know sine bounces between plus or minus 1. So I'm just going to do minus 1.1 and 1.1. There we go. I get a nice pretty picture, which in theory is always good to draw. So that's 2 pi, pi, pi by 2. 3 pi by 2, 1 and minus 1. So I'm looking for minus 0 0.6, which is those two values. And off my graph, the ones in the range, because the minus 0 0.644 is off the range, so G solve and intersect gives me 3.79. So 3 sig fig and 5.64. Rad. So 3 sig fig. So exactly the same idea. So let's have a look at the next one then. So I've got a bit of rearranging to do. So I've got 2 cos 3x is root 3. So cos 3x is root 3 over 2. Do the inverse cos. Uh, of root 3 over 2 gives me a principal value, the first one you get out from calc. Oops, hold on. So, menu 1. So, shift cos bracket root 3 over 2 gives me a 6 pi. Then menu 5. So this time I'm going to graph cos 3x against root 3 over 2. So I'll get rid of that. So I've got cos 3x, get rid of that, and I've got root 3 over 2. Root 3 over, oh no, don't want that, point over 2. Oh, it's done it again. And then get rid of that. 
press right over two. There. And that's the graph I've got. Because uh, I've got cos 3x, I'm putting three times as much graph in the same area. Um, so I'm just going to write down the answers. <laughs> Is that bad? Maybe I should do more. Let's have a look. So GSOL. Oh. So there we've got GSOL. GSOL. So I've got. 0.175, I've got 1.92, I've got 2.27 is that? Ooh. I've got 4.01, got to the calculator over there now. Four point zero one. The completing pack drew a picture and worked it all out in terms of pi. Four point three six. Which is what we should do really. Uh, but there's more of these than uh, six point one seven. Right. There. There you go. Let's have a look at the next one. What time we have? Six minutes twenty eight. It's all right. So x minus pi by 6 is the inverse sine of minus 1 over root 2. So x minus pi by 6 is. So that's a what? So menu 1. So shift sine of minus 1 over root 2. Gives me minus a quarter pi, minus pi by four. Back on the calc, we want quite a bit big, got one big. Menu five. Right, so this time I'm graphing sine of x minus pi by six. So sine x minus pi over six. And minus one over root two. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Do G solve gives me X values of four point four five, I think. And let's press right then. Six point zero two. There. There we go. Right then. And we'll stop it there. There's another example, and then we've got some consolidation questions. These are definite ones where the bids are good because you need really plenty of time for the practice. All right. See you later.